Hello tanks and tankettes and welcome to today's tanks replay and this one's definitely going to be rather short and sweet. This is David is Funko in the Panther 2 and as you can see he's got the comedy 88mm L100 gun because the German medium tanks are around this tier, tier 7, 8 and 9. Yeah they're very good for their comedy guns, you can have a laugh while you're being shot to death by them. So it's uh, 357 matchmaking. The uh, tier 9s on each team, however, are light tanks plus an artillery, so it's actually quite good, and even though the enemy team does have more heavy tanks, just, I think, more armour overall, they've got, what, three heavies and a Super Pershing, and their own team's only got, uh, let's see, a Carnarvon, Super Pershing, and T29, um, it's not too bad. I mean, on this map, actually, having more mediums is probably preferable, because it allows you to uh, take the high ground. And the high ground on the eastern side of the map here is one of the strategic key areas to controlling the entire map because you can defend your cap circle from here potentially. So one shot in already. I mean the enemy team mob obviously have the same idea but uh, this looks like enough tanks to make a go of it provided everybody doesn't just hang back and fortunately it seems like people are realizing they can't just hang back and sit here and wait for things to happen because otherwise artillery will pick on them. The T-71 there, um, yeah, <laughs> bailing from the hill and uh, uh, David is Funko kind of messed up that shot slightly. I think he was, uh, you know, he was aiming in anticipation but then his reflexes weren't quite there. But never mind, um, hopefully that T-71 won't prove to be a pain later. So there's a 1390 on the hill, which um, is not, you know, it's not great, but they do seem to have pushed these tanks back. And you can see here, he's, he's playing a game of patience with this rev, and the rev actually uh, broke first. And of course, because he's got the much longer reload, David Funko can just go forward and pop him in his very weak armour. So that's the, uh, the rev down to a one shot. The Panther does take a hit, but one more will kill the Rev. Uh, he backs off before somebody can finish him though, which gives David the chance to finish off the 1390. Although if he hadn't done, somebody else would have anyway. But you know, it's nice to get the kill. So, aiming for a shot on the T20, but someone else gets it. But that leaves him free to kill the Rev Alorize. And then of the enemy tanks that were here, well, it is just the Super Pershing left because the T49 has run away. So that's one more kill, which leaves them free and clear to press round to the enemy cap, potentially. Meanwhile, however, on the other flank, um, that's where all the enemy heavies went, so they just kind of pushed down there and are now uh, stomping towards their own cap. So they might have to make a, a, a fast return to reset, but that's entirely possible on this map because there's that bridge right across the middle. The two cap circles are not actually that far apart. So one artie's been spotted, um, there's a chance the other one's here as well. Somebody else gets that GW Panther, so no kill, but there's the M5355, so let's hope he isn't loaded. And bad news he is, but fortunately it's just a, a bit of uh, splash damage there. Although it was a premium HE shell, so it maybe did a bit more than uh, the regular HE would have. But given that that was practically point blank range, uh, a little unlucky that that artillery uh, missed. Well, unlucky for the artillery, but not unlucky for David's Funko. So that's another kill, four kills so far, and a ram kill. And of course when we talk about German mediums ramming things, we think of the E50 and the E50M, but it's possible in the Panther 2 as well, provided you pick and choose your targets carefully. So he's come to help out his allies, who are sitting on the enemy cap, but runs into the 110 and the IS-6, who have actually done exactly what I was saying, you know, you can do, they've run across the bridge to try and reset. And uh, fortunately their focus is on the cap, because that could have been a very, very nasty moment for David there if the 110 and the IS-6 had both shot him in the side when he was tracked. He wouldn't have been able to do a lot about it, but uh, no, their focus is purely on the cap, so this gives him an, uh, a chance, an opportunity to farm a bit of damage here. So a couple of shots into the side of the IS-6, I think he had one into the lower plate, and this is all with the AP, which is, uh, you know, this gun is good enough, it's, it's quite a, a, a decent gun for this team. And then he sees another opportunity, so there we go. 
another ram kill and uh, he lost a little bit of health in the process, I think, but not a huge amount. Uh, what was that, 43 hit points? So yeah, that it, it didn't have to be a high-speed ram kill, that one. The, the one tower was on low enough health that it was just a little nudge that was needed. So that just leaves the KV-5. You might be wondering, by the way, why their own T-49 is stationary, but I think it either gets mentioned in the chat or has been already that they managed to flip themselves. So, uh, yeah, that's why they're not helping right now. It's not because they've disconnected, it's because uh, they had a little run-in with physics. So it's just this KV-5, we know exactly where they are, and they're getting perilously close to capping, but because that bridge doesn't take long to cross, yeah, you can just do this. And with literally one second to spare, get the reset. Which was quite fortunate. This was almost too late, but as it was, he got there just in the nick of time. So that T49 being on his side could have cost them badly, but no, uh, David Isfunko was able to just in the nick of time get that and turn it into a win instead of a rather unsatisfying loss. So that was, um, yeah, quite fun, really. That was a, what, a Levish Lighthouse medal, Radley Walters, Ace Tanker, Kamikaze, he had, what was that, um, was that two ram kills or three ram kills? Because he rammed something else as well, didn't he? Yeah, the T-49, he rammed the T-49, so, um, yeah, that that's a double Kamikaze, but unfortunately you only get one Kamikaze ribbon, of course. If this was World of Warships, that might be a thing you could get multiples of, but, uh, yeah, three ram kills in a Panther 2. For that alone, it was quite entertaining, but the fact that, um, he did so much damage... <laughs> Over 4,000 damage done. And the rest of the team were okay too. You know, the, the, the top part of the team. But um, that was just... Yeah, it was a very good medium tank game, I thought. And uh, that was quite a decent amount of damage considering it was also quite a short game. So that's it for this replay. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, you can leave any comments below. You can hit the like button. You can sub to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, stay tuned for more.